Nice work. What'd you tell them? Oh, you having a bad headache? Cheers. <laughs> As you know, our plan is then and finally lead the world. I knew I'd have to keep an eye on the pink. But as Bernstein says, you should always focus on the job in hand. What are you doing? You'll see. Glad bugs, another butterfly. Yeah, it's the same print. But they don't all have the same insects on them. According to Mia, the butterflies are really rare. Size five? So it could be the same shoe as the print we found in Nikki's locker. Now all we have to do is find out who's got a butterfly. We already know one person with a butterfly. Mia. Oh. It's probably just Mia then. I know, but Mia said she wouldn't be in her office for the whole of lunchtime. Moon. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. Mia did have ink all over her fingers this morning. Help! One minute we were talking, and the next she just collapsed. Nikki does have a tendency to be quite dramatic. Either that or it was a conversation that did it. No, it was more than that. It was like someone just flipped a switch and she fell into this, fell into this trance. This, this, trance. This, 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 this. Before she fell into it, did you do or say anything in particular? Not really. I've just been telling her about this new card trick I've been working on. The first curiosity. Where am I? What happened? The first curiosity. Curiosity, 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 curiosity. Curiosity. What's going on? You took part in Ruby Ray's act this morning, didn't you? Yeah, so? Well, she used the word cur... to hypnotise her volunteers. And you were starting to suspect Mia. Come on. <laughs> I think we might be jumping the gun a wee bit on this one. She's a prime suspect. We were eliminating her from our inquiries. I don't know. This is what we do. Show some enthusiasm. Hi. Do I know you? Um, I'd like... A signed photo? They're 50p each, pound for a colour. Um, no. Fletcher Moon, private investigator. Yeah? In that case, can I see some ID, please? I don't actually... Um... Would like to ask you a few questions about Nikki Thompson. Did you know her dress for the talent contest was ruined today? What's that got to do with me? Well, she's got together with Keith Chambers. Do you know, the one who, uh, dumped you. Is that what that loser's telling everyone now? He wishes. So, you didn't try to get your own back on the girl who stole him? She's welcome to him. What about stealing Keith's tricks from his act? As if. He wanted to join my act, leech off my talent. That's why I dumped him. Now, if you weirdos don't have any other stupid questions... You need to snap out of this. The badge doesn't make you a better detective. Or, well, at least it shouldn't. What do you mean? All this moping around. You're off your game. He didn't ask Ruby any questions. Didn't even mention her controlling Nikki's mind. You can't honestly believe that Ruby can control Nikki's mind. Well, then explain this whole hypnosis thing. Nikki can be a drama queen. Paul McKenna can do it. But you'd be an idiot to think Ruby Ray can. Oh, she's so saying I'm the idiot? Of course not. It's just we've got no evidence on her, or anyone else. Didn't stop you from suspecting Mia. Mia's our friend. You're not meant to suspect your mates. It's wrong. Right. If you're not going to investigate Ruby properly, I will. I had to give Mia the benefit of the doubt. I decided to pay her a visit. I thought Les Jeunes were more into politics than pop stars. We are. But winning the talent competition means that we get a chance to reach a wider audience. We're going to launch Education 3000 live on TV. What's Education 3000? Never you mind. You just keep your side of the bargain. I told you, as long as I get what I want, you'll get what you want. Excellent. Uh, you really think you're going to win? With Nikki Thompson out the running, we're the only dancers left. And everybody loves a dance troupe. Thanks to you, Mia, for a dead cert. The next day, I was feeling torn. I didn't want to think Mia was helping April to win the contest, but I couldn't ignore what I'd overheard. Meanwhile, Red was pursuing his own theories, and Ruby Ray was top of his list of suspects. Got you. Red, I need to talk to you. 
you. You're not going to like this, but I think I know who trashed Nikki's dress. I know. Really? But we can't just walk up to her and accuse her. Recognise this? The pen? Where did you find it? I don't play games with me. It was in the coat pocket. That's where I found it. What? It's the same couch as the one that ruined Nikki's dress. That pen was stolen yesterday. You hated Nikki for taking Keith away from you. So you decided to teach her a lesson. You hypnotised her so she could get her to open the locker by using the magic words. She could ruin the dress without getting caught. Very clever, Miss Ray. My office, now. Well done, Mr Sharkey. An hour later, Ruby was disqualified. The talent contest was back on, and Red became quite the hero for it. Not even a well done. I'm sorry, Red. I still think you've got it wrong. OK, so if it isn't Ruby, who do you think it is, Einstein? I'm not saying I've got the whole story. And I don't know why she'd do it. I still think it's Mia. You've completely lost it. This whole badge thing. You're letting it affect your judgment. But I've got evidence. I've heard... She's your friend. That's supposed to be more important than a bit of metal, isn't it? It's a badge. Get over it. Maybe Red was right. Losing my badge was affecting my judgement. But all the evidence still pointed to me and the pinks. Not now, Doobie. If Mia was working for April, there had to be a good reason. I'd seen her put something in her diary. Maybe it could help me find out what was in this for Mia. PCD. 12.15. Hi, are you one of the backing dancers? Eh, uh, look, you can't see here if you're not. April's orders. Bob Bernstein says, be whoever they want you to be, as long as it gets your lead. Yeah, I'm a dancer. Well, I'm Brittany. And you're a little bit smaller than the other guys, but that's not a problem. So, where's your dance gear? I forgot it. Well, you know the rule. If you haven't got your kit, you have to do it in your vest and pants. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Just lose the bag and blazer and keep up. Keep up. Right, guys, on my count. Busting some moves. Speak to what you know. What are you reading? Falling a lead. PCD 1215. You read my diary. You think I stole the badge? It's not about the badge. It's about Nikki's dress. I'm sorry, Mia, but your footprint matches the one I found next to Nikki's locker. Half the school's wearing glam bugs. I already told you that. I know. But this one, it's got butterflies in the heel. And you said it yourself. Mine are butterflies. They're the rarest. Plus, I found this under your desk. These ribbons have got to be all around the school by now, Fletcher. What were the ink on your fingers, then? If I had to copy, I had a meltdown. I work for a newspaper. It's part of my job. This is all circumstantial. Why are you helping April win the talent contest and promote Education 3000 live on TV? Why did you do it, Mia? Who's PCD? Pussycat Dolls. Brittany's my cousin. She's a choreographer. She's teaching the pinks. What do you get out of it? Nothing. But you do. You dropped your badge three days ago, in the class. Unfortunately for you, April picked it up. 